could this be what the new iPhone 8 looks like? So Tiger Mobiles and OnLeaks have collated all the leaks, all the rumors circling on the internet and physically built what we think the new iPhone 8 will look like. So what do you think of this near bezel-less design? Are you a fan? You can click on the poll at the top right, cast your vote, and let me know whether you love or hate the new look. So while all the rumors and concepts are, of course, to be taken with a pinch of salt, and we're not exactly sure what the whole iPhone 8 lineup might look like, as some are reporting that this fancy new design will be exclusive to an even more expensive iPhone 8 Pro model. But the big question for a lot of people is whether they should wait for the iPhone 8 or just take the plunge and buy an iPhone 7 or an Android phone right now. We're expecting Apple to announce the iPhone 8 around September time with a mid to late October launch. So it is still a good few months away. And of course, we can also expect these new phones, especially the model with this new design, to come in at a higher price than the current entry-level iPhone 7, which costs £599 or $649. I wouldn't be surprised to see a minimum £50 to £100 price bump this year. So you're definitely gonna have to wait, and you're probably gonna have to pay a little bit more, but considering this year marks the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, I can't believe 10 years since the original iPhone came out back in 2007. A revolutionary product, the Mac, the iPod, and now the iPhone. And also how the iPhone 7 was a bit of just a minor revision, a slight evolution of the iPhone 6 and 6S. I think it's fair to say that everyone is expecting something big from Apple this year, and they're gonna have to deliver. We've had so many great Android flagships this year, the S8, the HTC U11, the LG G6, the OnePlus 5, and of course, later in the year, we're also expecting the rumored Google Pixel 2. So if Apple doesn't deliver, if we don't get something, I think, really phenomenal from them, then I think we're gonna see a lot of people continue to jump over to Android. But what kind of specs will the iPhone actually come with? Well, as you can see from the design concepts, the iPhone 8 could have a curved glass back panel, similar to the glossy black iPhone 7 Plus, as well as a bigger 5.8 inch display with a super thin bezel, similar to the Galaxy S8 and LG G6. Considering the current iPhone 7 Plus has a 5.5 inch screen, a 5.8 inch sounds too big, but when you cut that bezel right down, you increase the screen to body ratio. Actually, as we found with Samsung and LG phones, they become a lot more easy to hold. Dare I say it that in many ways, I think Apple will be following on from Samsung's lead this year, giving the screen a subtle curve on the sides, as well as using a new brighter and colorful AMOLED display. Since OLED based screens are more power efficient, Apple can finally up the resolution as well. Currently, the iPhone 7's Retina display has a relatively modest 326 pixels per inch compared to 571 ppi on the Galaxy S8. The other most obvious change is the absence of the famous home button and fingerprint reader, which is now expected to be built into the display itself, allowing Apple to keep the bezels super thin all the way around. And of course, there's also no sign of the headphone jack either, but it would be odd to see Apple make a U-turn on this so quickly anyway. As for performance, while well, we expect to see the new A11 chipset along with most likely 3GB of RAM and of course they'll all come running the latest iOS 11 software, the beta of which is available now if you want to go and have a play with it and see what's new. In terms of the camera, we're looking at a similar setup to the iPhone 7 Plus, albeit now in a vertical layout, with a dual sensor 12 megapixel camera on the back, one of which will offer a telephoto zoom lens, as well as an upgraded 7 megapixel FaceTime camera on the front. So if you're an Apple fan, I think the iPhone 8 is going to be a big upgrade and definitely worth waiting for. But be prepared to pay a bit more, and if you're not a fan of the new design, then maybe there isn't an awful lot to get excited about. Either way, we'll know more in September. And for now, take everything you read and see on the internet with a pinch of salt. So I hope you found that useful. That's just been a quick sort of what we know so far about the iPhone 8. And if you are thinking of waiting, I think you probably should. I think it's going to be a big upgrade. Whether it's fundamentally different, well, it won't be because we can already see what iOS 11 is going to bring and the software obviously is the main stuff. So really, it's just going to be new design, better, bigger screen, and more powerful and slightly improved cameras. So let me know what you make of the iPhone 8 so far and whether you reckon you'll buy one in the comments below and make sure you cast your vote in that poll to say whether you actually like the new design or not. I hope you liked the video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and click that subscribe button, which should be around there somewhere. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.